While we know 2019 was a big year for bear encounters in our state, right now we're getting a much better idea of just how many there were. Parks and Wildlife is using new technology to better track the numbers. In the northeast region alone, from Castle Rock up to Fort Collins, there were more than 1,200 encounters. CBS 4's Karen Morford in Denver tonight. And Karen, wildlife officers are using the numbers to better zero in on why this keeps happening. That's right, Jim. They want to understand what is causing these encounters, and they're hoping this new technology, those new numbers, will help them find a better approach to curbing those issues. Bears made big news in 2019, from dumpster stealing in Lyons to a kitchen encounter in Pine, and just about everything in between. We got almost 5,400 bear reports. Last year, Colorado Parks and Wildlife started tracking those encounters using a new system, making reporting easier and more in-depth. We broke it down into ways that we think are some problems as far as people living appropriately with bears in mind. The breakdown of those calls, just over 1,700 involved trash. A little more than 500 were bears entering a building, and around 300 were calls for bears breaking into vehicles. It'll help us to go back to those specific communities and say, here's what we're seeing where you live. CPW spokesperson Jason Clay says they're once again asking the community to take precautions, getting rid of traditional bird feeders to using a bear unwelcome mat. What we're talking about is deterrence to keep bears away. Their ultimate goal with the new data is to reduce those encounters and keep Colorado wildlife wild. Now, Colorado Parks and Wildlife is hesitant to say whether or not those numbers are higher or lower than years past simply because it's a new measurement. And also, there are a number of factors that go into bear encounters, Mother Nature being a big one. For now, we're live in Denver. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.